Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video is to VLAN or not to VLAN. That is the question. So we spend a lot of time talking about VLANs. Other people spend a lot of time talking about VLANs and they're useful. <clears throat> and sometimes uh, people may not understand how to fully utilize or set up VLANs. Um, one thing sometimes that we see is that people will still use a slash 16 subnet mask or 255.255.0.0. And then because they divide up that, that class B, so to speak, uh, because they start different uh, types of devices um, in a different range inside that single subnet, that's not VLANs. That's just a logical uh, grouping right because it's still in the same vlan it's the same it's still in the same network it's still in the same broadcast domain um so we we have this conversation a lot anytime we implement voice over ip the equipment has to support vlans so that we can set uh, our voice in there i think we've made i say always but i think we've got some exceptions but the only thing that the base network was then used for was a single computer and voice. So it was essentially the voice network. Um, but let me give you just a few reasons and, you know, why you should be using VLAN. So, so first of all, it does allow us to segregate devices and keep like devices in networks where they only see other like devices. Now, this could be printers or IoT devices. And when I talk about IoT devices, I'm talking about things that you can't actually manage locally, things that have to go out to the internet and talk to a central server in order to function. So we, we can lo uh, logically and, and physically group these things together in different VLANs. And sometimes they don't need to talk to other VLANs, which is perfect. Um, the other thing is, while VLANs themselves are not security or security mechanisms, they do participate in security. Because once you have devices in those VLANs, now we can start applying firewall rules and security po policies that don't allow devices or certain types of traffic to either traverse other local networks or get out to the internet, right? So now that we've got, uh, you know, our printer, you know, VLAN with the printers, we can set it up so that printers themselves can't just start sending traffic out into other networks, but we can set it up so that you have to request something from the printer first or that you send a print job to the printer. And, and so it helps us with security that way. The other thing is, is we can optimize our network performance. And you've heard me say this, like making a smaller uh, broadcast domain. And then anytime I say collision domain, people are like, wow, oh, we're using switches and da, 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 da. okay. So we're just going to talk about broadcast domains. So broadcast traffic, things like DHCP, things like, excuse me, just a second. Uh, any of you with allergies can probably, whew, it's, uh, this morning has been crazy. So, um, reducing the broadcast domain. So it, it reduces unnecessary traffic, which takes up time on the network, which when something broadcasts on the network, every device gets that, right? So you don't necessarily need to be having that happen. The other thing is, um, we talked about the segmentation. I'm just looking at my notes. Um, simplified uh, troubleshooting within that smaller uh, VLAN or broadcast domain, right? Like, so if you're segmenting things into smaller networks, it can be easier to troubleshoot when things are going wrong. And if you have a large broadcast domain and we're always broadcasting and we have a broadcast storm, uh, you're going to bring down quite a few more devices and the resource use of your hardware is going to go 
going to go through the roof. So that's kind of my, my reasons, my, my kind of my top three reasons of why we should go ahead and implement VLANs when the equipment supports it. If the equipment doesn't support it, then that's a, a totally different conversation. Um, probably going to ask you to upgrade. That'd be one thing, but, um, yeah. What do you think about VLANs? I am a huge proponent of VLANs and having as many VLANs as needed to make things, uh, efficient, secure, and be able to control that quality of service and things like that. So let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on VLANs and let me know how you use VLANs. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form. That's right there on the front page and somebody will reach out to you as soon as possible. Continue the conversation about VLANs over at community.willyhow.com. Come on over, sign up and uh, share your knowledge or ask your questions. We're building this community. So once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.